Hello, it's the Toaster Party, and today it's Budget True Draco, this time versus Cosmo. Uh, I don't know what my opposing deck, the opposing deck is actually doing, because it's slightly too old for me to actually know what it's supposed to do. I'm going to attempt to Gamma the Tin Can, but that doesn't really do anything, it seems, because it still lets them special summon whatever they had on their side of the field. The Cosmic Cyclone away the... Monarchs are up, but I drew into nothing, so I'm feeling pretty terrible here. Something that, sadly, uh, cop two extra copies of the diagram really would help fix. And then I set another card, which immediately then gets destroyed. I then get attacked in for 1,000, then they switch out for the X-Wing, and they attack for 2,300. I am now have a monster, at least, but it's not the greatest one to have had, but I get to search up a... No, I don't, because I get Effect Valored. So after a four deep chain, I get to at least draw a card, hopefully pulling off the top. Ignis Heat's going to help. So I'm then going to trigger off, get rid of the thing to summon Ignis Heat. Then I attack over the X-Wing Witch, then let them summon the Witch from their deck. But I'm going to get to search up a spell and put it straight on the field, and hopefully be able to do well from here. Our opponent draws Ash Blossom, not very helpful. At this point I set a copy of Crackdown, feeling pretty good about myself, getting to not search, but I do get to search off another monster, so I get Dynamite Knight from here. At this point I probably could have taken control of the Witch so that I can then summon something good to my side of the field, but then they're going to slam down a Dark Destroyer, which cannot be targeted. But I'm going to be able to destroy their copy of the Dark Destroyer with my copy of Ghost Ogre, but then they get to search up a 2800 attack point monster. I'm going to then take control of it, and then they're going to scoop it up from here. Back with game two, and I still haven't read any of these cards beyond Dark Destroyer. So I'm going to set three and pass. My hand is uh, not good. I'm going to then send off their copy of Cosmotown, which they get another copy of Cosmotown, which lets them spurge through their deck to get two more Cosmos. And then they get to summon Strawman, which gets Dark Destroyer out on the field, and now I feel a bit lame right here because I don't have any access to uh, ways to destroy anything with Dark Destroyer like effects. And this other thing that is not Dark Destroyer, I don't know its name, I can look at it real quick. It's Dark Eclipser, who also cannot be targeted. So I get to summon back my copy of Majesty Maiden, but I have two cards that are not really doing anything for me right now, helping me get to take out the Dark Eclipser, but they're going to charge me with the Chain King. Getting Dark Destroyer, another card I am not going to be able to out easily. They then get into Supplier, which then lets them pop the, uh, uh, what's it called? The Monarchs Erupt face down. They could uh, summon the Tin Can after I destroy their copy of the X Wing thing, and then they're going to summon the Tin Can. I get back Majesty Maiden, and then they get Dark Destroyer again, which then lets them pop my monster. And at this point, all they need to do is be able to make any monster with 1300 points or higher. Well, that and the destroy my copy of Majesty Maiden. They're then going to pop both my back row. I'm going to accidentally pop my own card because I forget that everything on my opponent's side of the field can't be targeted. And that's game two. Back with game three, and uh, this hand's miserable. There's no two ways about it. I can only summon the Dynamite Knight and hope that it's able to stick on the field with the Dynamicious set in the back row. They get Cosmotown, which I'm going to try chaining the Dynamite, and then trying to pop the copy of Cosmotown. I get Ashed on the Dynamite search, but which I'm feeling pretty terrible about. Then get to Cosmotown, start adding two back from passing. Okay, not too bad. Okay, that second of scenes is not helping right here. They draw a copy of Twin Twister, it's not going to do much for them, except for the fact that they can... Well, they can then pop their stuff. I get to set the Dynamite just to my side of the field but it's going to allow them to pop their copies of Cosmotown, which allows them to summon the Tin Can. And they then get to use the Tin Can's effect to tribute itself and to search up the card and the Dark Clips are to the hand, so now I have to somehow get over their spaceship. I draw a card that actually does something with regards to that, and then my opponent draws Cosmic Cyclone. I'm going to then choose to activate a copy of the Disciples of the True Draco Phoenix, then going to pop a back row, I'm going to use the Apocalypse to then pop, reduce the attack of their ship and on the field, so they're going to attack over it, and then summon to their side of the field, Good Witch. Good Witch then pops itself, literally I'm going to get a free search of a back row piece, I'm wanting a copy of Apocalypse to my side field, then they get Eclipser, I can't have that thing's attack. 
And then I'm going to draw a copy of the Monarchs Corrupt. I'm going to pop my copy of Ignis, which is then going to half their Eclipser. I then attack over the Eclipser, which doesn't let, or which then leaves me with a, one in Ignis and an Apocalypse, but they draw the Cosmic Cyclone. Okay, I get to then search up using Ignis Heat to get a copy of the Disciples to their side of, my side of the field. They use Straw Man, and they get to bring back the Dark Eclipser, and then they attack over the Ignis Heat. Uh, it's all up to what I can t draw from here. The Dark Eclipser to get the copy of the X-Wing to hand, I'm going to use the effect of Disciples to shuffle and draw. I just need some normal summonable monster, and I don't get it. Okay, I have at least a few turns, maybe one or two, to, before they're able to get enough value off of their straw man before they can just bash out me over for game. I'm going to destroy the Dark Eclipser, which gets them a copy of Tin Can, but now I'm at... 4100. Okay, let's see if I can draw something good here. I do not. I shuffle back and draw another or time. Shuffling, drawing, and Pot of Duality. Just need a monster. None of those are monsters. Okay, I'm going to set a copy of Apocalypse and set a copy of Heritage to my side of the field. They're going to attack for 23, and they just summon Tin Can, which lets them go into Nightmare Phoenix. I just need to prevent myself from dying here. I then pop my copy of the Disciples to half the attack of the Phoenix, and I draw nothing. Okay, I just am kind of stuck with nothing, and they draw Itali. At this point, they just need to go into battle phase, and I can't do anything about this. Maybe if I had put the uh, Heritage in attack position, or in activated face up, then I would have been fine, but what was the top card of my deck? That might have helped, but that was the game.